To prepare for your workshop in a command line environment, what you can do is uh, open the, the terminal client. And, and if you're on Windows, you can open up PuTTY and connect to Matrix that you've seen already how it's done. Um, but anyways, get to the uh, command, um, command line. On Mac, when you are in command line, essentially you are going to be inside uh, your home directory. So your documents directory and hopefully uh, you have your uh, repository actually uh, cloned in the documents. So what you need to do is to go to the directory in which you have your repository and in, again in this case it's documents so I'm going to say CD documents <clears throat> and in that one I have IPC 144 works repository so I'm going to go CD IPC 144 works so I'm going into that repository and obviously I have all my files in here whatever that <clears throat> I need to have then uh, what I will do is I'm going to create uh, uh, the directories that I have we've already demonstrated that one in the uh, process of creating the directory so I'm going to quickly do it make directory workshops and see the workshops and make directory workshop one then inside workshop one I will create the lab directory so this is where we are creating the project for our for our workshop so I'm gonna make directory make directory lab so this is my lab part of workshop one and if I do present working directory you will see that I am in documents IPC 1.4 works repository workshops workshop one lab so as the semester progresses in workshops you have WS2 WS3 and so on and so forth and each one you are going to have lab and DIY in each workshop now that I am in labs at the moment I will create a file called lab1.c and you can do it on any Linux platform with a very simple editor called nano so n-a-n-o and I'm going to call put lab1.c and that opens a very simple uh, text editor for you and in there you just simply um, uh, uh, write the, the code that you want so I'm just gonna say over here include for example uh, stdio.h and I'm gonna say int main void this is very primitive so if there is no uh, help or debugging or IntelliSense over here helping you write the code you have to do everything manually so in here I'm gonna say printf hello there and return zero and close it to exit control X to get out of this and you you hold control you uh, press X and it says save modified buffer answer no will destroy changes so I'm gonna say I'm gonna put Y for yes and then the name of the file lab1.c and it's saved and, and it's out if I cat the lab1.c we will see that this is the content of the file now I I don't know if I made a mistake or not but I can simply compile it and see if it's correct or not so I'm gonna for compiling it I'm gonna call uh, type GCC and if you do not have GCC running this command will tell you that you need to install the tool and then you can install it if this is the first time so GCC and I'm gonna call it <coughs> put the name of the file lab1.c and then after that I'm gonna put dash O for the output and I'm gonna put WS uh, say dot exe and that's gonna be my executable you in Linux you don't need to put exe but I'm just putting it to make sure that I understand this is an executable and uh, if everything works okay and I don't get any messages it means it is successfully compiled which in this case is if I do an ls you will see there is a ws.s.exe and if I run that ws.exe over there oh to run it you have to put dot slash ws.exe uh, to execute you cannot just type the name in uh, Mac you have to put dot slash ws.exe and hit enter and as you see it says hello there and I did not put a new line so it shows it like this I'm gonna edit it one more time nano so to edit it again lab1.c and I'm gonna add a new line over here 
again it's not working with mouse there is no mouse here it's a full text editor that you have to actually bring everything the cursor manually over there and now I'm gonna put backslash in to go to new line control X again to get out yes and enter and I'm gonna put up arrow to bring the last command up again so I'm gonna compile it again and again up arrow to execute and this time it's gonna say hello there in one line and that's how you create your projects manually using the command line